Welcome back to Booze and Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make a cocktail based on one of Pixar's most beloved characters, the Minion. And what we're going to do is we're going to turn them upside down and throw them into a cocktail glass and have a lot of fun with it. So let's get into it. Now, this is a six ingredient cocktail. However, when you go online and you look at the ingredients to the cocktail and there's no real method of how to make this, you actually wind up with something that looks like this. But this isn't the way the cocktail is supposed to look and there's actually a small trick that bartenders use to make this happen because what you really want the cocktail to look like is this. So what I want you to do is stay all the way to the end because I'm gonna show you that special trick to get your cocktail to look absolutely stunning like this. Now, we will start with your mixing glass. And we're going to start with some coconut rum. Use whatever you like. Um, the more sugar you have, it'll actually cause this to mess up even more. But we're going to start with two ounces or 60 milliliters. Now the next thing we're going to do is add some blue curacao. And we don't need a lot here, but we're just going to add the color and a little bit of orange flavor to this. And for this, we're going to use a quarter of an ounce, which is seven and a half mils. Now this is the easy part. So what you wanna do now is grab your spoon and give this a little bit of a stir just to agitate it, mix it all together. Now what this is going to do is dilute the heavy sugars from the blue curacao. So you're gonna throw this off to the side and grab your glass of choice. In this case, I'm going to use a hurricane glass. I just love the shape. It makes cocktails look great. And what we're gonna do is fill this up with some ice. So no shaking involved with this. It's gonna be ex in there. <laughs> it's gonna be simple and easy to work with. Ah. All right, beautiful. Now we're gonna start with our first ingredient. Our first ingredient for this is a little bit of triple sec. And for this, we're going to use half an ounce or 15 milliliters. Now that you've added your triple sec, the next thing we're going to add is some peach snaps. And I'm using some Dr. McKilligan peach snaps. Now the peach snaps, again, are heavy sugared in North America. So this will sink directly to the bottom. And we're gonna use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half milliliters. Awesome, this will give us that sweet, intense peach flavor that we want that'll mix with the fruit juices. So the next thing that you wanna do is take a look at your glass and realize we've already had some dilution happening by the pouring of the alcohol. So don't be afraid to add a little bit more ice just to top it up to your heart's content because what will happen is you will, get, whoa, uh, you will gain some more dilution as we add a few more ingredients. So our next ingredient is some pure pressed pineapple juice. Use whatever you like. Mine has no pulp added and it has no sugar added. And we're gonna use an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. It's looking good and starting to take some shape. The next thing you wanna add is a little bit of lemonade. Use what you got. This is, uh, well it's lemonade, what can you do? It's sugar, lemon juice, a little bit of water, but we're going to add the same amount. So after you spill it all over the place, you're going to add an ounce and a half or 45 milliliters. All right, I can tell this is gonna look really, really good. So the next thing you wanna do is add your combination of coconut liqueur and blue curacao. But you want it to layer on, so what you're gonna do is grab a spoon and just place it gently on the top of an ice cube. This will allow you to control and give you a steadier hand, and we're just gonna pour it slowly like so. And look at the way the cocktail turned out. It looks fantastic on its own, but it's not quite the look that we want. So what I'm going to do is show you that trick that a bartender will use, because what they need to do is actually thin out the uh, rum and blue curacao mixture. And what we're going to do this time is only start with one ounce of your coconut rum, like so. Now, time for the secret ingredient. 
reach over onto your shelf and grab yourself some basic white rum. I've just got a little bit of Bacardi here. And we're going to add one ounce or 30 milliliters. Now, what that allows you to do is actually thin out the existing coconut liqueur slash coconut rum, depending on what you wanna call it, because it has more sugar in it. So then what you're going to do is then take your blue curacao, do what you did earlier, add in, you know, a quarter of an ounce or seven and a half mils, give it a stir, and now what you can do is grab your other glass, build your drink up, and what I'll do is I'll show you exactly how it layers on top. Ho, 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 look at that. Absolutely fantastic. And this cocktail looks exactly the way it's supposed to look. Now, if you stir it, you're going to get something that looks pretty much like this, but it's gonna be a little different in color, not by much though. So what you will see difference-wise in flavor is this has a slightly higher ABV and depending upon the white rum you use, you'll have different funky notes. Again, totally up to you if you want something that looks like this or like this. Now, if this is the type of contact you like, contact, mm, content that you like, please make sure to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification. That way, every time I put up a new video, you will be noticed. You will be notified. You have a fantastic day.